this is one of the variable products I entered to my WooCommerce site. And if I choose variation black, it shows me the variation image and regular product gallery here. If I choose white, the same happens. This one here is a variation image and regular product gallery. But as you see, there is no way for us to add the additional gallery images for the variations. Therefore, today I'm going to show you how to do that in a way that if you choose a variation, it has its own gallery. As you see, this is the regular gallery here, but if I choose black, all the images are different because those here are the variation images. Main variation image and additional gallery images. If I choose white, once again, all the images are different because those are the additional variation images. So if you're interested, then jump in because it's going to take only a couple of minutes to accomplish. Now let's get started. First thing, go to plugins, add new, and now search for variation image gallery for WooCommerce. This one here by Radius team. Install and activate it. And now go to WooCommerce settings. Under the settings, you have additional tab here for variation gallery. You can tweak it a bit. You can set up the thumbnails per row, thumbnails gap, gallery width, percent, and so on. Also, you can set the, the gallery width for small devices and extra small devices. And activate that always reset gallery after variation select. That means if I choose a variation, then it will be reset. Under the advanced, you can enable or disable the zoom gallery image. Zoom is this one here. You can enable the lightbox. If you don't do that, then you are unable to open up them in lightbox. So I suggest you to enable it. And if you want to open the lightbox on any image click, then enable this one here. Here are some pro version options. If you want, you can press this button here and update to pro version. It opens up this site. It costs $29 for a single site. But I think that for most of us, the free version is enough. You can choose the preload style here, blur or fade or gray. The preload happens when you refresh the page here. As you see, it was a blur for a bit. And if you have the zoom option activated, then you can choose a button position here. Under the tools, you can activate the option to delete all the plugin related information if you delete the plugin. Now let's save changes. And now there is nothing to configure here. Let's go and add some images to the variable products. I'm going to go to the products, open up a variable product here. I have this one. I'm going to open it up. I'm not going to go through how to add the variable products because I think you already know that. But if you don't, then take a look at the WooCommerce documentation. They have a couple of videos over there. I have added attributes black and white here. If I open it up, I can select the variation main image. For example, this one here. Set variation image. And now as you see, there is a new button, add color images. I can choose the images. If I hold down the control key, then I can select multiple images. Just add them. I can rearrange them like this and nothing else to configure here. So I'm going to delete this image here and add this image here and some gallery images here. Now I'm going to save it, update it, view the product. And voila, I have added the variation gallery. If I change that variation, there are new images here. So as you saw, it wasn't difficult to achieve. And therefore, if you find this 
tutorial helpful and if you want to support me then press thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and you will be the first to be notified about new tutorials. Now before you go take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now because it's also full of useful content. Meanwhile take care.